today we are in the Ironsburg community, which is right outside of Coker Creek, Tennessee. And today I'm exploring what's left of this really creepy old house. See where the floor has actually caved in. Now this house, I'm not sure when it was abandoned, but you can tell it's been a very long time. And it looks like it may have been hooked up with electricity. I seen a power meter that was attached to it that's rusted over. So it had to have been empty for at least 30 years, if not more. Now the reason why this location is what I consider to be one of the creepiest I've ever been to is the fact that in 1928, a very bizarre murder had taken place here. Now the family that lived here was known as Linderman. And the Lindermans was actually a pretty big name in the Ironsburg and Copper Creek area. And it was said that the Linderman gentleman, he was friends with the man, his last name was Webb. And they were really close friends. And he always, the Webb man always came over to visit this house. And it was said that one day, that the two men had gotten in an argument. And they were actually drunk at the time. They were both drinking a lot of moonshine. And it is believed that they had gotten in an argument over who was going to drive. Now, I'm not sure if really if that was the actual reasoning. I don't know why they had to argue over who drove. But they decided to take their fight below the house. And where this happened at is where Highway 68 is today. I don't know if I can get down there or not to show you all. But you can see it through this front door. You can see the asphalt road. Now they took their fight out on the area. They decided to have a duel. One of them had a pistol, while the other one had a shotgun. And they pulled the trigger at the exact same time. And when they did, both of them dropped over dead. That is, that's the story that we've actually been told by a native of Copeland Creek. And, and when the wife had discovered what happened, she actually heard the commotion. When she discovered what happened, it was said that she seen, when she seen her husband's body, she was so distraught that she screamed. They said she screamed and she screamed and it was so loud that her neighbors could actually hear her about a mile away. And when they came to the scene, it was said that it was very bloody and extremely gruesome. And I'm not exactly sure if anybody lived there after that. It's really eerily silent in here right now. I'm not sure if anybody had lived here past then. But like I said, you could see electrical fixtures. Now, Copeland Creek had gotten electricity sometime after World War II. So it is possible this house was lived in until at least maybe the 1950s. But you could see the old wallpaper. Show a good one right there. Look at it. There's old newspapers. That's really, really old. So you can see it's starting to fall apart. this window. I'm going to try to be very quiet as much as I can. I don't want to sound like this about the area, but people from Copper Creek have a tendency to be very territorial. I'm going to take a picture right quick.
find needles. You can see so the floor has completely caved in and the roof too, it had a tin roof. And I don't know if you can see all the way up there is the newspaper or newspapers that was used as wallpaper. But since it's caved in, I don't think we'll be able to see what the dates on it are. That old fireplace. You can still see where there's wood or coals that have been burned up in it. The floor has caved in. That looks like tar paper. And I see little paw prints on the wall. But there was a raccoon that stayed in here at one time. Looking at it gives you chills. I mean, there's just something about this place that I feel like somebody's actually watching me, but I don't know if this is on anyone's property. But this room, I've gotten really bad vibes from it the last time I was here, which that was back in the fall a couple of years ago. And this room really eerie. There's something about that corner. And that window. That window is just scary too. It's silence. I mean, it's just kind of a deafening silence. It's as if this place is the only place on earth and when you go to places like that, it just, it really humbles you. And especially here in Copa Creek, which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And there's not many people that live in this area, but the ones that do, it's just few and far in between. But there's been a lot of outsiders to come in this area. And they pretty much have been running things. And you can hear people on the highway over there. Let's see if I can get out the back. Yeah, you can see some more of this place. Today, I would say it's in the upper 90s. I didn't notice this before. Let's go around. so I could take some pictures for both me and Dad. Dad's not wearing the proper clothes to come down here, so I'm the one with snake boots and jeans on. But I will see you all later. I know this is a very short video, but there's not really much left to this place anymore. All right, until the next one.